Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we're going to go over some gentleman knives and my favorite kind of gentleman knives, which are like modern traditionals. But I'm also going to go into a few others later in the video because there are certain kinds that I like more than others or that I'm most likely to carry over others. Now, this is kind of a traditional style knife, but it is a modern traditional, meaning it's using premium materials or modern materials. We have M390 steel, a titanium, um, titanium scales, and a carbon fiber inlay on both sides, and it actually has a pocket clip. Now, a lot of traditional knives don't have pocket clips, which I prefer a pocket clip because I do like to carry on a clip. Now, you can get sheaths for these, to, and we'll look at those here in a second too, where you can just put it in a sheath and then throw it in your pocket. But this is a beautiful example of a modern traditional knife. It has a pretty heavy pull on it and pretty good walk and talk. Let's get to the next one. So my newest acquisition is the tactile bear i thought it was called the bexar people corrected me it's pronounced bear but it is a modern traditional as well no clip like i said with a sheath now this one you can get this whole package right here all usa made the tactile uh, bear with the the slip and the pen like i said 100 percent usa made all together in one uh you know one big group, you know, and just order it all together, or you can get it one by one, but awesome knife. I do have a, a first impressions already up on this. I'll put a card up here in the corner. If you want to see a little bit more in-depth detail on it, it does have large hardware and this one is in magna cut and it is a extremely thin blade. This is mega thin. And that is the beauty of this. It is really slim, slicey and compact. Um, I do like having the lanyard and the slip. It's very easy to carry. It's, uh, it's really tight inside the sheath. I really like that. And it comes with a pen. You can just drop this in your pocket. But this is another great example. Now, another one, a, a really new acquisition, shout out to Jack Wolf Knives is the sharpshooter and shout out to jack wolf knives for sending this to me this is amazing um it is a super thin deep hollow ground blade clip point and this is very traditional looking but it is also very modern in the same um you know at the same time we have titanium micarta and m390 steel it is a full hollow grind so it gets mega thin behind the edge you can actually probably see it right there how thin it gets it gets super thin nice and comfortable in the hand and has a really cool walk and talk but another great example and i also do have a first impressions on this knife but the one in fat carbon fiber because i they're, actually, I think OCD for EDC has some in. Um, they have they had them in a couple places. I think they're mostly sold out at most places, but I think OCD for EDC has some and one other place. But either way, you can click that card right up here in the corner if you want to see a little bit more on this one. Next, now, I really like modern traditional looking knives that are very modern like the finch knives so this is the finch harvester i can flip it it is a locking knife unlike the the other ones we've already checked out this one actually locks and i like that i like a knife that has that modern or sorry that traditional look with modern materials but also modern action i don't know it's just something i really enjoy um, there's something traditional about it, but then also my style at the same time. This one's in 154 CM, and I love this blade shape. It works so good for work. Um, it is a stainless steel frame lock, or bolster lock, I should say. It does have a titanium clip, and I do have a full review 
of this one as well. I don't know why. I might as well put another card up in the corner. <laughs> but yeah, awesome, awesome knife. I like that I can reverse flick it. I have the flipping action. The action is so good. This thing is super, super smooth and very, very well done. The finch knives are very, very nice. Now, another one of my favorites, obviously these are all my favorites, is this little Civivi. Now, this is a great example, in my opinion, of one you could get for a very, like, for very affordable, but it is extremely well done. It has a clip point hollow ground blade, that super thin blade stock, super thin, deep hollow ground blade. I mean, this thing is mega thin. It is super duper slicey. You get full ergo or, you know, a full grip on it. It does come in all different types of versions. This one's the carbon fiber full bolster. It's a real carbon fiber, but it's a fake bolster. Um, micarta. I think this is snakeskin micarta. If I'm, I, I might be wrong about that. It has a hidden lanyard pin or hidden lanyard uh, hole. And then it has an actual clip. Inset, the clip works great. It is a liner lock. And it is a front flipper and a reverse flicker. And I like that. I like being able to have the multiple deployments on this little, you know, it's a little fidgety, modern, traditional knife. I love that. So this is a great example of something that I really enjoy <clears throat> when it comes to gentleman knives. T8 hardware all the way around. It's not the most drop shutty or anything like that, but this is such a light blade. You know, um, I just, I really enjoy the action. And I do wish the jimping was a little sharper on the front flipper. But it's still easy to use, and it's mega slicey. S35 VN blade steel, um, so it does come with a premium steel, especially for the money. This is very affordable. Now, if you like this, but you're not into the action, then they do have a lockback version, I believe, or a slip joint version, one or the other. Um, so the first version of this, I believe it's a slip joint. It might be a backlock. I can't remember, but it's a more traditional. That's all I'm trying to say. It's not, you're not going to get the action like on this one. This actually makes it more modern. So if you want the more traditional one, they do have that. Now going backwards, <laughs> we got, we got a bunch to get into. One of my favorite traditional knives is this Tucson it is a modern traditional again. We have M390 steel, bone with titanium, and this has the best walk and talk I've ever heard on a knife or on a slip joint. I love this blade shape. It is rather thick though, but they have a lot of great details on this spear point blade. Well, one, it's a big bellied, it's almost like a teardropped, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but it goes from slimmer to thicker up towards the tip, but it's, it is thick. It is, it's not too thick behind the edge, but the geometry is really thick, so it's not going to be the best cutter. However, you know, there are, depending on you, right, some people, the, the really thin slicey is going to be the best because it's a cutting tool anyway. So since it's not something you're going to want to have to put a lot of effort into, you're going to want it as slicey as possible. Then there's some times where you might want something a little thicker, a little bit more robust. And it's not that you're going to be doing heavy duty cutting or anything, because in that case, you might want a little bit slicier, but that you might be a little harder, you know, with like picking and you know, you don't want your edge to chip or your tip to chip or anything like that. So it just does depend on what style or what you want. The pull on this is really nice. I'm not a big fan of the lizard, but you know, it's still really cool and I love the bone. So awesome, awesome knife. Now, another little guy um, is, and this does come in a, just a regular slip joint version. This is the concept wedge but there's the swedge which is not a lockback it's just a slip joint i do have one um around here somewhere but easy pull this is one that is also thick <clears throat> excuse me it's a clip point but it is thick thick behind the edge it's just a thick little chunker it is a wedge right 
You can technically get a full four finger grip, but it's something so easy. So if you have um, hands that are not as capable anymore and you still really like these knives, this is extremely easy to open. It, it does open very easy and close very easy. And it has modern materials. We have carbon fiber. It's not titanium, it is steel, but that also helps keep the price down. And then we have 154 CM, which is a very, very good steel. Um, for something like this no clip or anything like that but it is a really nice knife now really quick i'm just going to go over some knives that are also knives that are now we're, we're stepping out of um the range but i still consider them kind of gentleman knives so we have the kaiser dialorme <clears throat> sorry excuse me the kaiser dialorme 20 cv this is a top flipper, but this is such an easy top flipper to use. It is 100% false shut action. It is so smooth. It is like Shiro Goroff smooth. It is crazy, crazy smooth. Full four finger grip. You have a titanium milled pocket clip and I love it. I absolutely love it. And this is a fantastic little gentleman's knife in my opinion. Um, the geometry is not the best, but... You know, it's a little razor. That's what it is. And it, it works great. So next. Now, this is something for a tight budget. If you're on a tight budget and you want something to kind of fidget with, I, I don't really carry it or anything, but I do like to sit and mess with it. It's a little CRKT, the Symmetry. It's only 8CR. It is a hollow ground drop point blade. Very good geometry. And it is a top flipper. So you can use it like a regular flipper. But it, oh yeah, but it's a double detent, so there's no lock. You just push the blade and it closes. You can top flip it or regular flip it. You can flip it basically any way you want uh, because it is so fidgety. Um, I just sit and play with it, but I understand why this would be awesome for somebody. Maybe you're in a place that you can't have a locking knife. Maybe you don't really prefer locking knives and you just want something simple, something a little gent knife. It does have a nice little lanyard thing in the back. You know, look kind of looks cool in the pocket. You know, it does have a good look to it. The blade is inset inside the handle. <clears throat> the the jimping on top is really really grippy and you know like i said it's just a fidgety knife you can slow roll it too but this is kind of cool for uh for somebody who doesn't really need a locking knife but also likes something to fidget with and you know it, it's pretty cool um you know it's not very expensive or anything like that so you know don't expect uh you know too much but you know there you go Next, really quick, we'll go through these. Um, this is a little Tucson, the TS-158. It is tiny. It is just a little, it kind of reminds me of a modern traditional knife, even though it is a very modern knife. It's just a small modern knife. But I love the little clip point blade. It has M390 steel. It is nice and slicey behind the edge. The, the blade stock thickness is a little thick, though. A little three-finger knife. It does have a clip but this clip is more of like a jacket clip because it, it doesn't really take anything really thick in, you know under the clip i mean you could fifth pocket it but great flipping action if you're good at reverse flicking you can wedge your finger in there and reverse flick it but to me it is just a little gent knife and that's what i love about it um the tucson ts 158 next this comes in a lot of different options now i don't know if you can even get this option anymore but the real steel luna this one's the boost but it also comes in a slip joint version and it has a lot of different versions fat carbon fiber versions micarta versions um they might even have a liner lock version there's so many different versions of this this one's the titanium frame lock version now originally a slip joint well a locking slip joint sorry it's a uh, you have to pull it out like this, and it's a frame lock. However, you can get the thumb studs or the little thumb disc where you just slide it right over the fuller right here, and you can screw it in, and then you can have thumb studs. But this comes in N690 steel, and it is a poltergeist design. Really slicey. It is modern materials. It is all titanium, at least this one, and it does have a clip. But like I said, that it comes in so many different versions. Awesome. 
Next, this is the Trailblazer by Civivi. Now, this is the XL version, but they do have a tiny, or not tiny, a small version of it. This is the XL version. It is a slip joint with a clip, very modern, D2 steel. Um, but like I said, it comes in a small version. So if you're wanting a real knife, because this is a knife, 100% this is a knife. Super comfortable in the hand, great ergos. I would love to see this in a locking version, but it is a slip joint. However, it has a very strong pull to it. So when you, and it has a half stop, by the way, when you get it open, you can hear that. This thing snaps in place. It's something that's a little bit more of a secured slip joint. So maybe you're in a place where you can't have a locking knife. This is a fantastic knife for you then. If you can't have a locking knife, this is probably right up your alley. Beautiful blade shape, nice deep hollow grind, nice and thin. Um, you know, the pull on it's so strong, you're not going to have to worry about disengaging it uh, without meaning to. And it, it will break in over time. So if you do get one and it's a little strong to pull out at first, that's okay. It will break in. Mine's broken in pretty good. Uh, but great knife. I think it looks good too. It is a damn good looking knife. And just really quick, one last one. Now this isn't uh, really my favorite, but it is a little Sativian knife. And I believe it's a Sativian. Yeah, it's a Sativian, but... It is a premium Sativian, I guess you could say. It has titanium full bolsters. It is a liner lock, and it has shred carbon fiber. It has a Damascus blade, but I don't know what the steel is. I don't really care. It is a pretty Damascus. I'll give it that. It does look pretty. I haven't sharpened it or anything like that, and it is a flipper. It does come with a little sheath, but the sheath don't work very well. I'm probably just going to put it in something else um, or put something else in here. But the flipping action, it has a lighter detent, but it that's also kind of good for people that don't want a strong detent because it's still a reliable flipper. And like I said, it's a tiny knife. It's a, it's a little modern knife, but it kind of reminds me of a little, you know, it's a little jet knife. That's what it is. But this is something that you're going to have to get a sheath for or just throw on the bottom of your pocket. Nothing special, but it does look really nice, you know, and it is somewhat of a jet knife. But it's also very, you know, pretty affordable. Um, I would recommend a, any of the other knives before this one. But it's still, you know, if you really like the look of it, and this is like exactly what you're looking for, something like this, it's not bad. It's, it's pretty good. It is built very, you know, pretty well. Sativian does a really good job, especially on their little, you know, their budget knives that are under $30. I mean, it's insane how well those are done. That's the reason why I got this was just because those are done so well. But there you guys go. I just wanted to quickly go over some gentleman knives or what I consider some modern traditional knives in my collection. All the ones in the beginning were actually more modern traditional, you know, and more gent like, you know, and then we kind of, you know, went a little sideways here towards the end. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Peace.